Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela Stewart and I'm an author of science fiction and fantasy. And today I'm here to talk to you a little about writer self-care. First, one of the things since I'm doing uh, Camp NaNoWriMo this month, I have another video you can watch about concerning that, but I spend a lot of my free time writing. I also, to keep creative, I have to get other things in to kind of balance that out and to make sure that I'm taking care of myself during this time period when I'm really, really focused on getting more work out. One of the first things I do, number one, is I exercise. And I am a runner from long time ago. Ever since I've been in high school, I've always loved running and more jogging. So I'm not really a fast runner, but just getting out there and getting the endorphins, which helps with creativity, which gets my mind popping. I come up with some of my best ideas when I'm just listening to music and taking a long run in nature. Also, just being in nature in general. Sometimes I'll get up early in the morning, get my cup of coffee and just go sit on the porch and allow like the trees and the wind and flowers and everything just to kind of feed my soul. Nature walking and you know forest bathing and all that is supposed to be really good for creativity and I find the more greenery and things I have around uh, the more creative I feel so it kind of feeds my soul. Another thing I do is I make sure that I eat lots of fruits and vegetables and I drink lots of water because it's easy to get like really involved like I'm working all day and then I come home and I'm just jumping right on the keyboards as soon as I get through the door so it's hard to remember to eat well yeah, but i do take the time once a week and i make my grocery list and i make sure i include lots of fruits and vegetables such as cherries and apples and bananas and broccoli and i just pre-plan a lot of my dinners and make them ahead so i do some meal prep and i make sure i have good healthy snacks now if i'm not going to say i don't have little treats I do allow myself a little piece of chocolate here and there, but I try not to overdo it because it's easy to depend on sugar to give you that boost and then you end immediately, or caffeine even. You, you get the caffeine and you get the sugar and then like 45 minutes later you're down and you feel like you can't do anything else and your creativity is out the door. So getting the right nutrients and like fats will actually help your brain work better and and kept, help you be a better writer. Another thing that I, I do is, okay, whenever I hit my work goals for the day, I give myself a reward. So that whenever I'm done with doing something that's hard, I give myself a treat. So either I'll binge a Netflix show or one episode, or I will go to the movies with friends, or I'll get to read a book that I'm interested in, or I'll get to play with my cats or my pets. I'll get to, you know, spend extra time with family and just, you know, go for a hike or something fun, something that I enjoy. I always associate finishing my large word count with something positive. I try to get as much sleep as possible during this time period too, because it's easy to say, I'll just do my word count after everyone's in bed from 10 until midnight, and you have to get up at six and next day for work. Your t creativity takes a nosedive if you're not getting the proper rest. I know a lot of people advocate getting up early, and that's fine. Just make sure you're going to bed early if you're going to be getting up extra early because our bodies need a certain amount of rest and everyone's got their own set points and I think you know on the weekends and stuff you get a feel for how many hours your body really needs to rest and unless you're fully rested you're not going to be able to delve into that creativity so that you can come up with a great world stopping idea that would be the next epic adventure best-selling story. All right, well, that seems to be all of my tips and tricks for taking a little better care of yourself, especially when you're in a writer's crunch. If you have any other thoughts or ideas and, and ways that you kind of take care of yourself as a writer or as a reader, um, leave them in the comments below. Thanks, bye.